Hey guys, Professor Facchetti from the University of Trials. Uh, today checking out the cubicle space skill game. Uh, I've just, as you can see here, I've just got platinum medal and my confidence is very high. So I'm gonna try and do it again. Uh, my record, which isn't showing up, is 31 sides of the cube, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can beat that. Um, the, the key, I mean, there's a couple of quick tips I'll give you on this one. Um, one, it doesn't seem to dynamic, it, it's it's always the same from what I've seen. There isn't a, uh, it's not like it's a procedurally generated, you know, randomly occurring type deal. So memory will play a, a key part of this if you find that you're consistently faulting on one. Like for instance, number five, I always struggle. And you watch, so this is three. I always get to, I get to four and didn't even get to five. Um, I always get to five and stuff up and sometimes four like that too. Um, the other tip I'll say, yeah, so obviously yeah, any any that you're consistently having troubles with, just remember the number, remember how to approach it, and there's usually only one or two in each little block of ten, for instance, that you need to really be too concerned about. So like I said, five, so I'll just sort of take it easy through this transition, and it's because of that gap there. If you go full on, you just hit that, and I think I did that in my uh, first attempt at this. From here, it's I just the, the other tip I'll say is to try and manage those transitions as best you can. I find myself tapping the brake at times. Um, you just don't want to over rotate or overshoot because the sort of ground underneath you is dynamically changing. Um, do your best you can to sort of make your landing predictable, even though it feels a bit slower. And I'm sure if you're you know you're trying to speed run this, it's probably going to hurt you a little bit, but. As with all of my stuff, if you go on for consistency and trying to get that platinum medal, um, the first time I actually just took my time with this, I ended up doing reasonably well. Um, now with commentary added, probably not going to do so well. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, which I didn't pick up on the first few times I played this, is that it's not just the camera that's rotating. The cube itself is rotating underneath you. So as you see here, this is gradually getting steeper and steeper. Um, you from time to time will need to take that into account when you're approaching certain obstacles and especially toward the end um, I, I, I get the impression and so if you think about it for any upward slope uh, the quicker that you tackle that slope the shallower the angle is like that, that, that sort of got progressively steeper there Okay, now we're in concentrate territory. I want my eye 20. But yeah, so that, that one there, that was, to be honest, that was my kind of tip, was um, just remember that the, uh, the cube itself is rotating underneath you. Take your time, remember the tricky spots, and I'm sure the only thing between you and a platinum medal will be stupid mistakes or cockiness. So you see there, I'm sort of managing as carefully as I can that transition around the corner. Little dab of the break. You don't want to, you don't want to go too soft because I've had situations where I haven't made it. But I'm finding this works for me. As you can see, cruising my way through. Oh, oh, this one, that little one there. Okay, we're in record, never seen it before territory. Whoa, you see, oh, you see how the rotation there? Oh no, no, here we go. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. That little piece that just caught me off guard. Anyway, it's a platinum medal and I'm happy with that for a new record, 33. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video to talk about that, but as you can see there, if you're smooth and fluid and you uh, you know manage your way through the obstacles, you'll have no problem. The second that you make a little stuff up, especially early on on the side of that cube, uh, it's going to hurt you. And as you saw there, just by me trying to regather myself, um, I lost all the time I had and uh, blew it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully that gave you a couple of little insights and tips into what this uh, skill game is all about. If there's anything else you need, just yell. Cheers.